Let me quickly compare and contrast Profit Bandit, Amazon Seller App, Scoutly, Scoutify 2, and Scout IQ. So we're talking about the top scouting apps rated. So we're talking about the best Amazon arbitrage seller scanning apps. Very important. If you want to see the, the results of this comparison, I want you to stick around till the end of today's conversation. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweaty Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you're all doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you ought to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka. Now, let's roll. <laughs> in today's conversation, I want to share with you our results of the, the reviews that we did, the in-depth reviews that we did on the top scouting apps for, for Amazon um, arbitrage. So we're talking about Profit Bandit versus Amazon Seller App versus Scoutly versus Scoutify 2 versus Scout IQ. Okay. And if, let's start with the Profit Bandit. Very important. So when you think about Profit Bandit, I want you to think about a great book scanning app. Okay. That allows you to look at things, to look at products very, very easily. Now, Seller Seller Engine is the, uh, the company that, that's behind the software. And it's very great. I mean, we love the fact that Seller Engine actually historically was known for amazon rate pricing okay and they have actually uh, done a lot of book scanner apps and the cool thing is that they're constantly innovating that's what we love with profit bandit okay here are the ben here are the benefits you can do a lot of stuff with this tool you can track data okay in other words you can monitor and record a lot of info as you are scouting and that's the cool thing because you can actually uh, do multitasking here this is very important if you're a big scouter you know how important it is okay you can calculate so besides tracking data you can calculate profits and you can actually see the low price point which is really important because this profit man is not charging you a lot one thing you need to understand is that they have a, they have a live book scanning application Okay, they have a local database scanning application, so you can actually do, you can very, you can go very granular on this on this app if you want to. Okay, so what are the benefits in our view of a live database apps? Well, it really depends. You, it depends on how granular you want to go. It depends on the competition. You have to see what your competitors are selling or how how much they're pricing their products. Okay, you are able to actually have. A, and the ability to see exactly what the, the market is where the market is training in li in um, in live okay so we love the real time ability of this product of this profit bandit to give you the info you need okay now you need live pricing because you want accurate data that's what it is okay you know uh, you want to you want to have the data now but it has to be accurate and basically profit bandit gives you a complete database okay their systems will show you amazon's entire database of products this is really good so we love the fact that with uh, profit bandit you have good price you have live data okay constantly being updated this is really good and uh, in terms of uh, their uh, th their drawbacks in our view they rely on the internet so if you need a good reliable internet connection here they are hard on battery especially if you are doing the, the scouting via your mobile there are some glitches in our view every now and then so uh, if you want to sign up here is a link here is the the platform the, the page you can see on the screen and in terms of pricing they start at $9.99 on with a monthly subscription Let me talk to you about Amazon Seller App. So when you, this is the original product that Amazon itself, Amazon itself has uh, has uh, produced, has uh, you know produced. And if you're an Amazon FBA seller, if you're an Amazon FBA seller, you really really want to use this app. Very important. Whether you are you you want to do scouting or you want to do or just selling, it's very important. Now there are a lot of reasons why you have to use this tool. First of all, it's free. You don't have to uh, buy you don't have to buy any monthly subscription or whatever no it's free okay and what we love is the fact is that amazon constantly is updating its database let's say on a daily basis or hourly basis it really depends there are a lot of benefits for for using let's say um of using the the free amazon the seller app right so you can analyze sales this is really good you can fulfill orders you can find products to sell. This is really good. So the gas game you have, you're basically taking the gas game out of your, out of your um, strategy here. 
you can manage offers inventory and returns this is really good you can respond to customer messages quickly you can stay current with inventory and pricing alerts this is, so you don't, you're not overselling or underselling okay you can manage sponsored product campaigns you can access product level uh, product level inventory details that's the granularity that we think is important when it comes to uh, when it comes to scouting okay you can easily research and sell products and you can create listings and edit professional quality product photos so overall this is really good okay and you can use the Amazon seller app for a lot of things you can check your disbursement amount you can check your orders you can reprice inventory yeah yeah you can check uh, the status of FBA shipments Okay, you can check and return emails to customers. You can check for hazmat items. You can check for other selling restrictions. So you have a whole constellation of, uh, of, of benefits that the app gives you, whether you are doing scouting or you are doing FBA selling. Okay, now there are a few things that they can actually do to uh, improve this, um, this uh, tool in our view. Now, there are no links to uh, some third party software tools such as Keeper. They only show you the result. The, the, they only show you the the lowest new and used price. They only calculate the profitability of the lowest priced new and used offer. They don't calculate all the fees involved. Okay, you might have other reasons you like or dislike um, this app, but the the cool thing is it's free. It's really it's totally free. Okay, so in conclusion here, our view is time is money, and the time you lose by using this app could mean the difference between uh, finding let's say. Uh, 100 books or 100 products to uh, to funny nothing so it's really worth it it is free I want to talk to you now about Scotly so when you think about now Scotly actually uh, is a tool by a seller okay what we love with Scotly is the um, the fact that you can find things instantaneously the immediacy of uh, the search okay you have instant price look out uh, look up without internet connection this is a great 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 tool because you don't need to be on the, on the internet okay you have comprehensive live search on all amazon products but you have uh, you can you can download a complete database onto your phone okay so you have a, a pricing results that are returned to you in less than one second we have tested it it's usually five seconds okay but the cool thing is and the great forte of this tool is that no internet connection is is ever needed okay so they have a you can database search for united states canada and uk you can live search for usa canada uk and europe okay what we love here is that uh, their database their software com contains complete amazon catalog including books music video games toys home grocery and other popular categories okay and uh, one thing we love with Scoutly is that you have automatic calculation of profits okay so they display all fees charged by Amazon for both FBA and seller fulfillment okay and we'll also love the fact that they have profit based triggers so you, you can basically customize things yourself okay you don't have to go uh, if you don't like the general settings you can customize things yourself and uh, they return histor hit the historical rank price and buy box for up to a year okay they support OCR to scan um, ISBN number where when, when barcode is not readable okay you can view your scanning and buying history with this tool this is really good so what are the features that we love here so well you have live pricing very important okay you have a, a database for all the top countries okay and the database actually is very vast in terms of products they're offered from books all the way to groceries okay you have automatic calculation of profits this is really good and we love that and uh, we love the fact that they are constantly innovating in terms of pricing their pricing is very uh, is very variable you can, as you can see on the screen here but one thing i want to say about scoutly is that you if you want to use it this is kind of cool if you are in a niche if you're if you want to have uh, let's say product information about a niche that's really good they're really good when it comes to uh, looking at a, a specific niche and really uh, giving you the best data now if you want to actually expand the research scoutly is not really uh, sometimes they have bugs okay we have seen glitches okay and uh, but the cool thing is no internet connections is ever needed okay this is really good I want to talk to you about Scott IQ. So when you think about Scott IQ, I mean the the tool comes from the book Flipper, okay? And this tool is great for many reasons. First of all, it allows you to uh, search for 
data in real time so you're able to get the latest data possible okay but what we love is that it has a constellation of features that are really cool so they have an e-score so this e-score actually measures the number of days they have registered a sale in the past 180 days you're talking about six months of history this is really good okay so this gives you uh, insight into the book's historical demand okay you have smart triggers so what we love about uh, this feature is that if your current triggers only allow you to analyze a single data point, you are most likely to leave positive money on the table. So if you have, uh, let's say, if you have uh, smart triggers, you are able to analyze things instantaneously. Okay. You also have teams and triggers in terms of uh, adding team members, creating custom triggers, and uh, you you can also operate in hidden mode. Okay. Now, another feature we love is the downloadable database. Okay, you're able to download a database and you can analyze things on your computer. The, the um, Scout IQ gives you all the tools to analyze the data to see what's really happening here. This is really good. You also have the speed mode that we love here. You are able to uh, scan books using your phone's camera continuously, seeing all the information in real time. So when you think about Scout IQ, I want you to think primarily about books. Okay, scouting books okay having all the info about books that are sold on amazon and other platforms okay and what we love also with the scout iq is that their wholesale integration so you are basically you basically you have access to a larger database okay and uh, so they actually uh, so with with the, that integration you can instantly see the price that uh, that a uh, wholesale buyback company is uh, willing to pay in cash and you can add it to your cart with a single click Okay, so this is really good when you think. So when you think about, I would say a Scout IQ, I want you to, here are the pros and cons in our view. It's really fast. It works when there is no cell phone, okay, reception. It's easy to find the true lowest FBA. You can access their data with a smartphone. Their triggers are more advanced than I've, than we have ever seen in our, in our research. And uh, it's the only, the only app with eScore. Okay, which allows you to actually know how many days the book has sold in the past uh, six months. The cons, it still doesn't reveal the true lowest FBA price every time. Additional licenses still cost you a few extra bucks a month if you're looking to build a team. And the data is only updated once or twice a day on their end. So you kind of have, if you are in a very competitive uh, field, a daily update is not really interesting. An hourly will be though. So in terms of pricing, as you can see on the screen, there's a pricing for Scott IQ. I want to talk to you now about Scottify 2. Now, Scottify 2 is a product by uh, Inventory Lab. Okay. And what we love with this uh, tool is that they're basically, they're constantly updating uh, their, their, the data that feeds into the software every single day. In other words, that's what we call continuous innovation. They're totally looking at the market and seeing what works and what doesn't work. And in terms of, uh, now, they're a little expensive, though. I mean, they are on the expensive side, but they're really good. I mean, they have a lot of features that you might you might be interested in. For example, they do research. Okay, so you're able to actually uh, do a simple real-time product scouting. Okay, so really, you pay attention to specific data in the areas that matters to you. Are you looking for info about a specific niche? The thing is, Scoutify will give you the info so you can make quick or buying decisions. Okay, they also have their list feature okay so cool thing cool thing here is you can list products let's say you can print labels you can build fba shipments or you can add to your merchant fulfilled inventory and, co and the cool thing is you can track cost and visualize your net profit so this is really good they also provide some accounting modules that are really good in other words you are able to manage everything from mileage to business overhead with expense tracking and, and we love the, the the diversity here okay so you're able to uh, use expense tracking to uh, to have a better idea of where your business is going so they have uh, automated income tracking so you know the profitability of each and every sale in real time mind you real time you also have their inventory okay so you can manage your uh, their inventory module you can uh, manage your inventory and view total in stock value sales value and accounting details okay we're talking about real time here you can also you have access to uh, analytics they have their, their reports module okay you have comprehensive reports that that enable you to know what products suppliers and categories are profitable for your business and you can visualize your overall net profit so that's really when you think about Scottify, you are thinking about a constellation of uh, of, of um, features okay here are the pros and cons in our view pros 
is very simple to use yet powerful okay it allows you to, it allows you to see unlimited licenses it allows you to use unlimited licenses for people within your business okay you can see more pricing information than just the lowest price okay really good the cons it doesn't always show you the lowest fba price it is cumbersome to click around to actually find the lowest fba price okay it is kind of slow it is not a downloaded database which means it still requires a sell signal and takes a second or two to pull the books detail from amazon okay and uh, but in terms of their features that we love and you have a uh, quick scanning you have detailed search results you have idea ideal buy accurate roi and profits in-app restrictions one quick one click research rather and you have buy list so this is really good and in terms of pricing you can see this on the screen here here is a pricing for scottify 2. thank you so much i'll be right back right after this don't go anywhere welcome back folks to another section of the awesome sweaty kiwi show sweaty kiwi show we are still talking about scouting apps here okay it's important that if you are going to do a amazon retail arbitrage you're going to have a tool it's a, you're going to need a tool okay because without it you are going into stores blind because you will have to know way. you have no way to know which items are profitable and which ones will actually lose your money by selling them on amazon okay that's the whole that's the cool thing about scanning having a scanning app right now what we love here is that you are able to see exactly what really matters in real time now you need you need to have granularity you need to have you, in, in other words you need to dig, you need to dig deeper to understand what's really happening you actually have to also study the competition because the last thing you want is is to find a product you think the price is great only to find out that your competitor your next door competitor is actually selling it cheaper okay so you don't want that so when we talk about uh, a scanning app you have a uh, a lot of tools a lot of uh, modules a lot of interfaces that you need to have the right information in real time for example you need to see the current price on amazon you need to see your estimated profit after amazon fees don't forget those fees though okay you need to see uh, the products ranking if you are eligible to sell the products on your account or whether it is a gated you have uh, you need to you need to have some to do you need to do some ungating on Amazon remember that not all Amazon third-party sellers are into private labeling and importing so while the, while others are invested in creating their own range of products others are let's say some are banking on pre-made ones that they buy at a discount okay so those are things you need to think about so the bottom line here is that Amazon arbitrage as a business model is nothing more than buying a product for a low price and selling it somewhere else for a profit okay however doing this business just like any other entrepreneur uh, any other uh, business endeavor requires sellers to do the legwork what i'm trying to say here is that you have the tools the tools are fine the tools will, will get you the data but you're going to have to analyze the data to see whether it make it, made, it makes sense for you at this time to buy the product and sell it, whether there is an arbitrage opportunity or whether this arbitrage opportunity is only temporary in other words uh, i mean all let's just say all arbitrage opportunities are temporary but what really matters is the uh, the window the time window here is it for a day for a month for a year so what I'm talking about temporary that's things you need to pay attention to so now we have the decision here so we have a profit bandit versus Amazon seller app versus Scout Lee versus Scout IQ versus Scoutify. Okay. So which one do you have to choose? And that's a good question. Well, it depends on your goals, resources, and business value, really, because uh, the, the tool that you need will depends on your niche also. It depends on on uh, the kind of research, the kind of granularity you need in your research. Okay. And it's important to, uh, to also pick a tool that always that fits your existing business model and that your competitors are, are using also you want you might want to gather some competitive intel and know exactly what your rivals are what your rivals are doing okay so you have a clear idea on how to proceed okay and remember that whatever tool you use it's important that you need to check the potential profit with uh, the potential profit that you can make with this scanning app okay check amazon also 
You want to check Amazon to make sure that that uh, the tool that you are going to choose actually has an integration with Amazon. Okay, look at the item sales rank. It's very important so you have where you have a clear idea of where the the items actually uh, ranks. You want to check customer reviews also. Okay, what I'm trying to say here is whatever tool you have, you there you, there are a few things you need to check to make sure that uh, you can use the app comfortably and profitably. Okay, the app should be able to help you check profit potential, check Amazon, look at the item sales rank, check customer reviews, check recent customer reviews, not just the, the old ones, but the recent one. Okay, and make sure that you are able to see exactly what's happening in real time. Now, one thing I want to say here is that when you use this kind of app, you have to be very careful about whether or not you are getting the info when there is a live internet connection or you want to have an app that you can access even offline. This is important because let's say you're traveling, right? And you are in you are in a place where there's no signal on your on your mobile. You you really in if you have uh, if you have some time and you want to actually uh, spend some time on doing research, it's good to have an app that does not require live internet connection. So be very careful while choosing uh, the right app for you. And you know the, the thing is maybe you don't need that you don't need to have an offline tool anyway you probably just uh, want a tool that is uh, available every now and then because your research the, the level of research that you are going to conduct is not really that deep so that's something to think about before we give you uh, our decision here let me just uh, acquaint you with uh, our e-commerce solution evaluation approach. We have a strict method on this show when it comes to uh, categorizing, listing, and uh, and showing e-commerce solutions, including uh, those scanning apps. Check this out. In those five players our pick is Amazon seller app so we have scored actually Amazon seller app 9.7 over 10 Scoutly 9.2 over 10 Scoutify 2 9 over 10 Profit Bandit 8.8 over 10 Scout IQ 8.5 over 10 thank you so much for your attention I really appreciate it I'll see you next time but until then remember stay Marvelous.